Hi right, guys, this is uh, Scott Sega Saturn Lad back with a bit of a different video to showing the uh, latest purchase, and it is a an original Xbox. It's a slightly different original Xbox. It's, uh, it's also got the crystal. Uh, I don't know what you call that hologram or logo on it. But the reason I'm showing this is because it's been uh, modified to run emulators. So this one glows, fetching purple as well. Just thought I'd show a quick, brief video of it. So it boots up as normal. And this has got the latest software, I believe, called uh, Vision 4. And um, obviously, you've got many, many different emulators on here. Everything from Sega, Nintendo, um, you know, Neo Geo, Pocket, and obviously AES, MAME. But the thing that I was really surprised at is how easy it is to actually use. And it's it really is like a, um, you know, like a basically a home version of a PC emulator, effectively. Obviously, sometimes you know, if you're not the most uh, techie minded, then emulation can be a bit tricky. But, but I'll just briefly go through what we've got. Uh, so you've got arcade classics. Now that that is basically um, all of the sort of the arcade games, and it's all chronological or alphabetical, whatever you want. Yeah, alphabetical rather. So you've got 1941, 42, 43, After Burner, Alien Storm. So it's all in A's, and you've got your vague sort of arcade games like Alien vs Predator. I'd never seen this before, but it's effectively just Final Fight with uh, Alien vs Predator sprites, um, done by Capcom. And as far as I'm aware, it didn't actually make it to any consoles. So you've got absolutely loads. get the idea and just to come out of it is obviously just back on the Xbox pad nice and easy console classics obviously this is where you've got your your sort of meat and veg of the uh, the sort of system again these are just the sort of the sort of choice here picks also you got the SNES version of Aladdin Mega Drive version Again, it's all again all alphabetical, so it's so easy to use. Toe Jam and Earl, Tournament Fighters, Thunder Force, Star Wars, Super Metroid, all the Mario's, Mario 64, Castlevania, Streets of Rage. You got Sonics. So you get the gist. Then you've got your old school, which is obviously, you know, like your sort of pre 8 bit stuff. Beat em ups. Again, these are more sort of the choicier titles, all are basically just blocked into one, just making it a bit easier. But, you know, this is by far, this is really just scratching the surface. You've got your main. And if you want something specific, obviously you've got your Mega Drive, 32X. 32x emulation is all right. It's a bit ropey. It's, it's a bit bit slow, but it runs okay. Runs okay. Um, Mega CD. Have yet to try that. The Mega CD emulation. <clears throat> Master System one works fine. It's even got the Street Fighter version of um, Master System version of Street Fighter two on it, which was a bit of a surprise and um, pretty much unplayable to be honest. But it's not bad. Game Gear. N64 again similar to the 32x some of the the emulation on the on basic games like early ones like Mario 64 run fine later games that I found were a bit patchy uh, stuff like Ridge Racer 64 you know like later titles which probably use the N64 the you know you might be asking a bit much of it but Super Nintendo SNES Game Boy 
Color and Advance PC Engine. Obviously, so a graphic, same thing. Atari, Lynx, Capcom, so that's the, like the CPS boards. Uh, Neo Geo, this is your Neo Geo Pocket. And I think here you've got all your Mega Man games blocked into one. Amiga, it's obviously got a New Zealand story there. Commodore 64, Mortal Kombat, arcade version. Not too sure what that is. Lots and so much stuff on here that you just I haven't got a clue about. I assume that's all your pinball games. ZX Spectrum. And you've got SNK vs Capcom 2. Laserdisc as well. That's to shut it down. But we'll go to the uh, go to the main one because again this is really the sort of meat and two veg as they say. So effectively you've just got what's in trying to do this one hand is you've got thousands and thousands here. You got Y, so L, M, N, O, P, R, S. I'll oh, so these are all the arcade ones. Just try and pick one. Saying do outrun. I see everyone's familiar with that. I'm sure most of you guys have probably seen this, but obviously, if anyone you know is not, so that's it doing its magic there. And I think it's great. I mean, really chuffed with it. It's um, this is actually running on a. Um, Composite lead as well, not composite, sorry, component. So it's actually running at uh, 1080 i As you can see there, not particularly sharp, but yeah, not 1080, uh, 480i. So it comes out really nice, really, which I was quite surprised. I know sometimes it can be a bit blocky, but a lot on the emulations you can sort of um, source the, um, you know, like the sprites for smoothness and stuff. Don't get me wrong, by all means, I'm not looking at ditching the collection or anything, but this is just an easy alternative to, you know, if you want if you want to have a bash on, you know, specifically say, you know, say you wanted to have a go on, I don't know, Ghouls and Ghosts on the SNES. Yeah, the, you know, the price that may well go for it, me as a, not a SNES collector, I don't think that would justify me buying, setting up my SNES for maybe a couple of hours play, whereas this is the best of both worlds. You know, again, so, you know, if you fancy something like Strider on the Mega Drive, or you know, and then there's a lot of things like bootleg games on here as well. You know, fan-made games that you you don't necessarily see, or you would never see. So stuff like that, you know, it, it works out all right. Yeah, it runs nice and smooth. It's just the same as the Saturn version, to be honest. All right, so there you go. What, um, if you're interested, this was done by um, a guy on YouTube. YouTube a guy on Facebook well, goes by the name of Kernel Consoles. So I'll put a link in the description. If you add him as a friend, he'll set you up on uh, one of these. Um, this actually cost. Uh, I think it was 60 pound delivered and uh, obviously that's with the controller all the wires all the hookups and everything um, and he also does things like um, you know replacing the um, 
gizmos in the, the Game Gear and you know any other modifications that consoles go by. So if you're interested, drop him a line, and uh, I'm sure you'll uh, come to some arrangement. But yeah, Kernel Consoles, link in the description. So thanks very much, guys. Take it easy.